and this is the Lord Kitchener. Just some clips, of course, of the Grandmaster himself, who, if he had survived, he would have been a centenarian because he would have been 100 years old today. And so we're talking about his work, we're celebrating his life, and we're celebrating his work and his contribution, of course, to our history. Now, on the line with me, I have Miss Kaveri Cole. Miss Cole is the founder of River Films, and she's the director of a documentary film about the Lord Kitchener called One Hand Don't Clap. Miss Cole, good morning, and thank you so much for joining us on the Now Morning Show. Thank you so much for having me. This is a very special occasion. And it's a very, it, listen, it's an honor to have you here as well. I mean, jumping right in, you made the documentary film One Hand Don't Clap. What is the film about? It's a documentary about Calypso music and the birth of Soka through the eyes of Lord Kitchener and Calypso Rose. They grab a hold of audiences and lead them from New York recording studios to Trinidad Carnival. And along the way, you meet other stars, both younger and older than Kitch and Rose. And for many people outside the Caribbean and the Caribbean diaspora, it's a chance to spend time and get to know Kitchener, his creative talent and his always fresh new art that's influenced popular music everywhere. Nice. I want to know, though, what was your inspiration for making a film about who we know him as the Grandmaster? Well, I was born in India, so it's not so strange that I was drawn to Trinidad. And I live in New York, so it's not so strange that I'd be drawn to the music scene in Brooklyn. That's where I first saw Kitsch. I was amazed by his musical power and his stage presence. He was so lively, so full of energy. And I have to tell you, my jaw dropped when he started breakdancing. The man was already in his 70s. So I knew this film had to be made. And I followed up by spending lots of time with Kitsch. We chatted together, we laughed together. I went to many of his performances in Brooklyn and in Trinidad. What was really special was hearing him talk about it. He would sit with his guitar, playing bits and pieces of his music and telling me stories of his life. It was an experience I never tired of. And now that he's no longer with us, I'll always, always treasure those memories. Now, Kaveri, have you ever visited us here in Trinidad? Of course. Ah, nice. Course. Okay, good. Now, what was the first, because I was, I was actually thinking about is it that you were you were able to live, you know, you were able to live through Kitsch, you know, and, you know, experience how we are here. So what is that one song that you remembered when Kitchener sang it? You were like, wow, this man, he has something. He really has something that has drawn me to him. There are so many songs, but off the top of my head, Pan in A minor. Mm. You know, they, it just the rhythms, the beat, the energy, his mastery of music, the steel drum, and what the song had to say. You know, they're asking for a change and this is what I'm gonna do. And uh, he was on top of it always. And he led the way and we just followed. I followed him to Trinidad. Now, in the film One Hand on Clap, we also got a taste of Calypso Rose. I was just wondering, what was your thinking behind, you know, doing a documentary film about Kitchener and also bringing Calypso Rose into that same film as well? Well, they're both certainly powerhouses, aren't they? I'm sure you know that Rose was the first woman to win the 1978, I think it was, title that had to be changed from Calypso King to Calypso Monarch because of her victory. Both Rose and Kitchener are so important to the story of Calypso music. And Rose told me how Kitch helped her when she first started. He gave her a lot of good advice. He gave her tips about performance. All that's in the film. It's to Rose's credit that she accomplished everything she has and she's still going strong. It's to Kitch's credit that he helped Rose when he saw a young woman trying so hard and helped her to become who she is today. Now, Kaveri, you are one of the lucky ones who would have spent time with Kitch before he passed. I mean, any lessons he would have left with you or anything you would have learned from him, musically or otherwise? 
oh, I'm still learning from Kitchener, you know, um, still learning from the Grand Master. That's what Grand Masters do. They keep teaching you. You know, every time I listen to him singing another song, Pan Here to Stay, I smile. He's right. You know, people can be full of doubt, but they're wrong about Pan going away and a lot of good things going away. Pan is here to say, stay. And I know Kitch is here to stay too. You know, back when I was filming with him, I learned how Aldwin Roberts from Arima became the legendary grandmaster. How he lived and breathed his music. It came from way back when, from a place in his childhood to his travels to England where he made Calypso so famous. It came from a place deep inside him. You know, he was an accomplished ba bass player but he always said that a person could excel in one field only. And he turned his mind to Calypso and Soka. And that's a mm. lesson to learn. Nice. And the film, I mean, it sounds interesting. I would, I would like to see it. Any plans for you to re-release it, at least for us here in TNT to get a look at it? Absolutely. You know, the original film was completed in 1988. And making a film is such a long, hard journey. You finish it in a daze, a total daze. So it was very exciting when One Hand Don't Clap reached wide audiences in Europe, America, Asia, and Africa. It, you know, and I have to say, the rhythms, the beats, the lyrics brought so many different audiences to their feet all over the world. So I'm happy to say that now, so many years later, One Hand Don't Clap is being preserved. You may know that film decays and images need to be restored or they risk being lost. Today, preservationists and archivists have developed very advanced techniques that can be used to preserve films to last over time. That's what we're doing. And what's very encouraging is that there's growing appreciation of the rich cultural significance of a film like One Hand Don't Clap. And yes, of course, we plan to re-release the film in Trinidad. Absolutely. We want everyone who saw it before to have a chance to see it again. Maybe they'll even see themselves in the audience at the Calypso Review years ago. And for everyone who was too young then, or maybe not even born yet, it's a chance to meet Kitsch now, to celebrate him and Rose and all the other stars in the film. Kaveri, thank you so much for joining us here on the Now Morning Show. I am telling you from now, I can't wait to see the film when it is re-released. I think it's going to be something amazing to see him and his element and also how he interacts with Rose and all the other musicians. So thank you so much for joining us on Now. Thank you for having me. And that was Miss Kivery Cole. Of course, she is the director of One Hand Don't Clap, a documentary film about our grandmaster. Today would have been his 100th birthday, and we are celebrating here on the Now Morning Show. So stay with us. We're going to take a break and be right back.